Juan Diaz in the blue, Julio Diaz in the green. Juan Diaz likes to keep a very busy pace. He's not getting hit with any silly punches right now, only when he stands still. But, you know, the kind of pressure. Working on his technique more, but as the fight wears on, his inner Mexican kicks in. And that's what happens to some, some, some young boxers. They don't have a little discipline, and he's working on the discipline of taking his time and using some poise in there. Good combination by Juan. Pressure fighters to be successful have to put hurt on their opponents immediately. He is a quick-handed puncher. Say Juan and Julio. I usually don't like to be that familiar with the fighters on the air, but we may be forced to hear. And, and another result of quick hands like this is that the opponent of, D, of Juan Diaz becomes a little bit reluctant to punch sometimes because he doesn't know what's coming back at him. Lennox is Julio making a mistake here, standing in the wheelhouse of Juan Diaz. Well, he, he feels that he can out-punch him and out-box him right now, but you're standing in front of uh, what I call a, a good puncher, and any any one of those shots can, can hurt you or cut you, so you don't want to take that type of chance. Julio Diaz in the green, not using the movement that he said he would. Well, now oh, you're right, Larry. It's a big sacrifice to do that. He's trying to muscle Juan Diaz. Nice combination by Juan Diaz. Most of those punches there missing from Juan Diaz. Slaps a left to the head by Juan Diaz. He responds to Julio Diaz. Julio Diaz is saying he's not taking a step back. He wants to punch it out. Great action. <laughs> you can't bully the bull. He is just relentless. Some of that blocked by Julio Diaz, not all of it. Juan Diaz rips a combination to the head of Julio Diaz. And so that he wants, he feels that maybe he has to do that. Doesn't it just play into the whole Juan Diaz strategy, though? Well, it does, but he makes you play into it. He determines what the pace of the fight is. Well, they're two young fighters fighting like the whole future is in front of them. Not like old guys whose future is in the past. When you're going backwards throwing punches, it's like you're taking some sting off your own punches. Once Julio Diaz languishes on the inside, Juan Diaz tags him. Those punches blocked by Juan Diaz. But he has to shorten his punches up. And so he's not getting his normal power from his punches in order to be able to get to Diaz before, D to Juan Diaz before he gets to him. Diaz should be doing, he should be taking that step back and letting Juan Diaz come into his punches and, st and stopping and coming out with his power punches. It's like bringing him into a trap. I don't recall the last time I've seen a fighter fight like Juan Diaz. There have been a few down through the decades. Is that he trains in an unusual way. He swims every day. And he believes that they have enabled him to keep punching like that for an hour. That's going to take a lot of work. Take a lot of energy out of him. Plus, he's getting punched at the same time. Leo Diaz does good work to the body. Juan Diaz comes back with a flurry of his own. 
Julio Diaz been in the gymnasium with his older brother since he's six years old, but never in a fight as a professional. Controlled the action with a relentless attack on Julio Diaz. And Julio seemed kind of frustrated there for a moment, tried to use his head to push Juan Diaz back into the ropes, but the referee warned him. You know, Juan Diaz does not have the picture-perfect prize fighter's body, and that can deceive opponents. They think he's soft, they think he can push him around. You can't. And uh, Willie took a look at the chubby kid and said, this kid won't last two weeks. And years later, they're still together. Well, like I, like I said, he needs to take a step back and allow Juan, Juan Diaz to come and, and step into the pocket. Then throw his combination. But right now, what he's allowing Juan to do is throw a combination of punches, which Julio's getting hit with like a... That could put him ahead six to nothing, and means he just has to win one of the remaining rounds to win the fight. Eliezer Contreras dropped him back in 2003, got up to win a decision in that fight. What a combination from Juan Diaz, most of it missing. He's a very good boxer. Anybody who's seen him before knows he can box. He hasn't boxed in six rounds. His choices are box or lay down or let the referee count to 11. And that's the only two things he can do. I mean, he can't fight like this. He's fighting Juan Diaz's fight, and he's getting out punched. Six to nothing, Juan Diaz. If he could box him, he would box him now. And Lennox Lair, that's what Juan Diaz brings. He dictates, he dictates the terms of the fight. He gets people to fight his fight. See, after Juan Diaz throws his combination, he has to think defense after that because obviously Julio's gonna come back with his punches. He's just waiting for Juan to finish throwing punches, then he wants to come back with his own punches. Not that Julio Diaz isn't. He was a very solid fighter. Juan Diaz had 110 amateur fights. Turned pro at the age of 16 in Mexico. And he's opening up on Julio Diaz again. And this, and this kind of a flurry will steal the round if it's close. He's not going to get the deal done. And don't discount all the body work that Juan Diaz has laid on Julio Diaz to take away some of that movement. We roll to the end of the eighth round. All oh, the fight's being stopped. It is being stopped. Corner of Julio Diaz stopping the fight. And you know, it's not a bad call by the corner because he is really working from a deficit. And here we saw almost a replica of Juan Diaz's fight against Asolino Freitas. There comes a time when a fighter says, I just don't want to live with this fist in my face every second of the fight. And they say pressure busts a pipe, and it definitely does.